Hi guys, today we are reviewing a Swatch Chronograph watch model number SVCK4034. In the review we will go through the style, features as well as dimensions. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, now I will make a full disclaimer before we do the review of this watch and that is that this watch is not in its full functioning capacity. I will come to that later in the review and I'll tell you why, but it's still a working watch. I did purchase the watch knowing that it wasn't working fully, but that didn't bother me because I wanted to review it and also the watch does function enough. So the watches in this range do come in a different style box than your average watch. Um, it's a much bigger box, you can see the large plastic case quite long if you compare it to the normal swatch box the normal swatch boxes are a bit thinner and they've got the swatch logos at the top whereas this one it's got sort of a smoked sort of edge to it and it's a much thicker case than your normal swatch box but you still get the same thing you've got the retainers to hold the watch in place obviously the watch itself then your information for the watch slides out the bottom so you've got your little card open the card up it gives us an instruction book which is nicely laid out nice and long and a thing about the swatch club which was a thing you can join i don't even know if it still runs today but you can join the swatch club and get information and stuff about the watches and they also offer special edition watches to club members and then you've got your warranty card now this one was bought in munich and you can see that it was bought in july 2007 so, as you can see, this is a watch from the Swatch Irony or Diaphene range. I'm not so sure how you say it. It's I-R-O-N-Y and then Diaphene is D-I-A-P-H-A-N-E. I've been wanting a watch from this range for a very long time. The reason being, these are slightly larger than your normal Swatch watches. So we've got a nice clear case. We've got chrome pushers for the chronograph feature. And we have a silicon strap. This is a sort of three coloured strap. You can see you've got black one side, a nice orange stripe running down the middle, and then green on the other side. We have a green retainer, and then we've got a stainless steel buckle with the Swatch logo on it. It's also got, unusually um, for Swatch watches, this has got a double buckle so you've got two pins to hold it in place the other side of the strap is a sort of a fluted version so you've got like a grip in black on it that goes on both sides on the other side on this side you've also got your adjustment points you've got a lot of them and they said they're double adjustment points because of the double buckle if you look at the back of the watch again as i said this is different than your normal swatch watches so it's more of a flat back with the battery compartment of always battery compartment is always a twist and turn to take out but the back of the watch is different than your normal raised backs it does tell us that the watch is a irony and as i said it's a diaphene model it also mentions on the back here that the watch is water resistant as well if we come around to the face of the watch we've got a bezel it's a non-movable bezel it's a sort of a silver finish with black markers for the tachometer we have a nice domed glass across the front of the watch. So it's a plastic glass, but it's domed to give it that sort of oldy look to it. And then if you look at the face, we've got this very unusual coloured face with these three sort of areas of greeny yellow colour at the 4, the 8 and up at the 12 o'clock position. Where you would normally find your 12 o'clock marker, you've got the Swatch Swiss lettering. And then you've got your three subdials and your date window. Your date window is white with black lettering, but it's got a nice little green surround on the parts of the watch where the face is black with the subdials. You've again got your four o'clock in black with orange surround, your eight o'clock in black with orange surround, and down at the bottom you've got a little green six, and it tells us when the watch was made. So it's a Swatch Watch AG 2006. The dials, the bottom dial is the second hand, so that's counting around your seconds for normal timing. The other two dials are for the chronograph feature. So the dials at 2 o'clock and at 10 o'clock are your dials for your chronograph feature. Then you've got your 
hands for your hours and minutes. They're sort of hollow hands. So you've got hands for the minutes. It's sort of a hollow, looks like sort of a, virtually like a crane. Three piece hollow hand. And then the hour hands. Both of these have luminous painting, but they're the only parts of the watch that do have luminous painting. The hands on the subdials, as you can see, are sort of a chromey hands with orange ends to them, or orange highlights. And you've got orange highlights in the subdials. As I said at the beginning of the video, the watch is um, faulty. It was bought faulty. There is damage to it. The damage being that the chronograph doesn't actually work. The pushers don't push in. If you take the watch apart completely, and I have to get this watch going and to clean it, this watch did come apart. I did dismantle it, give it a good clean because it, it needed it around the casing and on the strap itself. The face of the watch comes off. So you take the glass off, take the casing apart at the back and the whole mechanism and movement comes out of the watch. When it's apart, the chronograph does work. But when you put it back in the case, unfortunately, because of the way that the case fits together and whatever has damaged it has moved a couple of bits around, the chronograph doesn't work when the watch is back in its case. But it's still a very wearable watch because it tells the time, the time's correct, the date's correct, and the second hand's moving, and it looks great on the wrist. And to be fair, I tend not to use the chronograph feature that often anyway it's only when i'm timing something maybe at work but normally if the chronograph was working you would press the top button to start it that would start off the large hand on the face as that goes around the other hands would move and count the rest of the time you would press the top button to stop it and the bottom button to reset it if you manage to find one of these in better condition than this one or similar watches then the chronograph would do its normal functions but as I've been wanting to get for one of the diaphene watches for a very long time, this was actually didn't matter. Uh, I didn't mind. It was a very, very nice colour. It suits my style. It goes in with my collections. And I thought, you know, it's a working watch apart from the chronograph. So I don't mind having it as it is. One other thing that's wrong with it is that if you pull the crown out all the way, the whole crown comes out, including all of the pin. Again, it's not something that's really an issue because if you get careful with it, set the time, it's fine. It's, it's never going to be an issue. What I would say is, I mean, it is only water resistant anyway. It's not a swimming watch, so I'm not going to get it wet because I think if I did try getting it wet, it probably wouldn't work because it's not going to have any seals in it. Although there are seals at the face. There's a rubber seal around the face and there's a rubber seal around the back case when it's put together properly. But as things are sort of falling apart on it, I probably don't want to get it wet. And I will if I can... If I find a nice style, I probably will try and buy another one of these type of watches, but not this particular style, because this is enough for me. If we come to the sizes, the face of the watch is 33 millimeters. The case size of this watch is 43 millimeters, so it's considerably bigger than most normal watches. With the crown, that works out at 45 millimeters. The strap is 19 millimeters across, and the thickness, it's quite thick for a Swatch watch, because um, it's quite a big domed crystal and you've got a sort of thicker clear case. The watch is 13 millimeters from front to back. Weight wise, this watch, although the irony range on this one, it's only the back that is part of that irony range. The rest of the watch is all plastic and silicon, which means it only weighs 42 grams. So it's a very lightweight watch, but a very substantial watch on the wrist and a very good looking and unusual standout watch. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the review. If you do, please hit the like button down below. Please think about subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next load of videos. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Domed. Fuck me. Everyone fuck off. <laughs> Start again.